CHP won the mayoral election with over 54% of the votes. Uh, that's according to state media. Now, it's a far wider victory margin than in the first ballot three months ago. Uh, Gade Sevinj is the CHP's representative to the EU, and she joins me uh, now from Brussels. Good afternoon uh, to you, Ms. Sevinj. Great to have you with us. Uh, now, you, of course, must be elated that your, uh, that your party has won control of uh, Istanbul. Many saying it's the beginning of the end for President Erdogan. Do you think it could mean that the 2020 2023 uh, election, uh, general election, might be pulled forward? Yes, uh, maybe an early election will take place. Uh, it is definitely a turning point for Turkey and Turkish democracy. You know, for many years we've been suffering, we Turkish Democrats have been suffering from authoritarian uh, regime of uh, Mr. Erdogan and his authoritarian policies in Turkey. So this uh, local election in Turkey was a very important uh, moment, a prime of uh, democracy for El again. And uh, I believe in uh, 2023, Turkey will be a much different country. Mm. Well, you say there it is a, a local election, still, it remains a local election. Now, Imam Molu said when he was accepting uh, his victory uh, that the CHP has fixed democracy, repaired democracy, essentially. Uh, do you agree with that? Of course, it's a very important uh, step. Uh, we are at the beginning of the uh, of putting an end to Erdogan's rule. Uh, and in local elections, not only Istanbul, let's not forget, all the major cities and many others in Turkey now ruled by opposition, by the CHP. So, and CHP's main agenda is democracy, making local democracy uh, working again and putting people at the center of decision making and also trans uh, putting transparency and accountability in its place. But isn't, isn't Imam Olu uh, jumping the gun a little bit saying that uh, this one action in Istanbul, a local uh, election, has fixed democracy? I mean, this is still a country uh, in which the president controls uh, the media, as we saw during this election, in fact, uh, and in which uh, protesters from 2013 are still being tried. Yeah, just imagine, you know, it was, uh, let's not forget, it was a very, very unfair election. And it was unfair and unjust election conditions and also the campaigning process. You know, we had to deal with uh, fake news, we had to deal with government media, we had to deal with many other issues and also lack of resources. So despite all these disadvantages, he, uh, he has won this election by a much wider margin. So it showed the determination of Turks for democracy and, uh, and democratic order in Turkey. That's why Mr. Imamoğlu is putting an emphasis on it, uh, because it's a turning point for Turkey. So after, after this lo these local, local elections and the rerun of the uh, of Istanbul elections, nothing will be the same in Turkey. Mm. Turkey's uh, economy is, is struggling. Uh, we know that. What is the CHP going to try and do to make that better in Istanbul? In Istanbul, first of all, uh, transparency and accountability in its place at the center of the system will be very important move, first of all, because the corruption is the one important issue in Istanbul. And, uh, for example, Mr. Imamoglu, during uh, his mandate, uh, during 18 days, he, he did something very great. And the first time in Turkey, uh, he live-streamed a uh, municipal council meeting. So people could watch and see what really CHP and opposition propose, proposes there and uh, what the actually everyone's party, ATP, is saying about it. So that transparency changed the game uh, very much. For example, uh, something very unique happened. Three, three million people watched live streaming of uh, municipal council. So uh, when you look at Mr. Imamoglu's policies, uh, social policies, bringing social municipalism uh, in its place, putting people at the center of uh, all this administration and management, so it, it made it very clear that the winner is Turkey, winner is Istanbul. So uh, things will be managed properly in Istanbul, resources will be managed right. much better than before. All right, thank you very much. Akeda Sevinj there, the CHP's representative to the EU.